with my job, wound up with a bunch of legal issues, you know, I was facing prison time, and just nothing good came out of it. Addiction is a big reason some vets remain on the street for years. My name is Woody and I'm an alcoholic and a combat veteran. My name's Eddie. It's part of the deal at Stand Down that they come to the meetings that might be the first step to recovery. The best shot at rehab attracted Marguerite Summers to this tent. It was a chance to go to Veterans Village of San Diego, which sponsors Stand Down. Veterans Village is an $8 million a year program, much of it funded by the VA. It offers nearly a year of inpatient rehab, but it's overwhelmed. Funding is limited, and they were taking applications to choose only 68 patients out of the 947 at Standout. Do you want to get clean? They were looking for people who seemed motivated. Summers wouldn't find out whether she made the cut until the next day, Sunday. As we walked around the camp, we found some of the reasons that homelessness among vets is a chronic problem, with a quarter of a million on the streets last year. A lot of it is addiction and debilitating illness. Bill Yarling was more typical of those that stand down. Older, an army medic in the 1980s, he'd been disabled by years of epileptic seizures. Here, Yarling knew what no one else could see, that the soldier inside hadn't surrendered. He washed off a year of homelessness and, if nothing else, enjoyed a ceasefire from the struggle on the street. It's hard to explain, it really is, but it just makes you feel better about yourself. You get back in touch. You get back in touch with who you were. Yeah. Before you were. Exactly. Touched. It is. You can tell I did. You know. Um, but, uh, See, I need to live on the streets. Okay. Yarling came looking for housing, but he found what Charles Worley discovered. Sometimes the programs don't match the need. No, I mean, no, I have a bed problem. I need somewhere to sleep. And if I'm telling them I have an alcohol problem, gets me a place to sleep, I'll sit through the, I'll sit through the AA meetings and the classes so I can go to sleep at night and not have to worry about anything. Worley and Yarling couldn't get into available housing because they don't need rehab. There are other programs that provide housing for thousands of vets, but they cover about 20% of the homeless. Oh, we just waste our time doing it. Sandown can't track a thousand homeless vets, so there's really no way to know how many might have picked up a lead on a job or a home, or how many decided finally to stick to their recovery meetings. What we could count were those chosen to go into that Veterans Village inpatient rehab program. Sunday morning, the vets came in one at a time, and most heard there was no room for them. Ouch. Marguerite. Marguerite Summers, who had no place to go, came in next. We followed through this weekend, um, and we think we'd be a great candidate. I made it. Why do you think you can do it now? I know I have that hope restored in me and I, I have the resources and I just know that's what I need to do now and I, I want it for myself. You know, I, I'm done living like this. All right, we need everybody in this picture. Come on now, everybody in this picture. Sunday afternoon. Ready? Stand down ended with what they called graduation. Come on down, left, right, keto! They marched with military pride for one last shot of self-esteem. <laughs> Bill Yarling raised the flag for Bravo Tent, Charles Worley for Delta. So let's have everybody in the circle now. They joined hands in a closing prayer. time to leave. And when you see them leave, you think what? It's hard. It's like, you know, Godspeed, you know? And there's so much that people need to do to be able to, to reach that escape velocity from, from, from being homeless. I hope that they get it. I hope that they have it. Recently, the VA set a goal of ending homelessness among vets in five years. 
The government will spend a billion dollars next year on housing and rehab. But the 23rd annual stand down turned out to be the largest ever. This is just great. <laughs> Marguerite Summers was among 68 who drove to rehab, while 879 others, including Bill Yarling and Charles Worley, picked up their burdens to rejoin their battles. Fresh troops fell in with a column that spans generations. The prices entered an area of space known as the Typhon Expense.